and the F five itself is a defining moment in Hennessy's development. I, it's a I crazy mean, story. Yes, tell me the story. It is. A, it is a define. It is a defining moment. But I think that the people that know me know that I I like a challenge, and there's probably times in the company history where I took on a challenge and didn't really. Kn- you know, it's one of those deals where we didn't know what we didn't know. And if I had known better, maybe I might not have done it. So I guess it all ended up working out. But in the case of the, the Venom F5, back in, oh gosh, when that car came out, we delivered the first car around 2010 and the last car, I think it was 2014 or 2015, somewhere along that way. You know, that again, we took a Lotus Elise or Exige and we basically threw away 90% of the car. We kept the cockpit, we kept the tub because I didn't have the time or the budget to develop our own tub. That's something we did later on in a five, but back then at workforce, it was lightweight, it was compact and it was fairly rigid and everything in front of the dash was new and everything from behind, literally from behind the seats, we built our own new bulkhead and chassis behind it. So I'm like, I kind of feel like that's 90% of our car. So maybe we kept, again, the Lotus tub, the headlights, taillights. But when, when some haters on the internet or social media would see the car, they're like, oh, it's just a modified Lotus. And I'm like, no, there's, there's a lot more that's gone into it than that. Anyway, I guess it was, and then it, Reading that a few times, it irritated me. And I thought, okay, well, I'll change the headlights. I'll change some of the design where it doesn't look as much like a Lotus. And I shared it with a friend of mine, a customer of mine. Um, This gentleman, I can't say his name, but uh, he recently retired as chief marketing officer for one of the most successful companies in history. And I shared my Venom GT Evolution images. You've been on the the record that, that that was Phil Schiller. Well, I, I probably, I probably have been on the record, but I probably couldn't have said that. <laughs> At so, least I read that. So anyway, anyway, <laughs> so you might, you might've read that, but anyway, so it was again, a guy that I, I, I highly respect. And I, I refer to him and a few other clients like him as the best consultants that I could never afford to hire. He was very, he was very kind, but he was also very direct. And he basically said, John, if you want to get credit, for, you're not going to get credit for having your own car design until you design your own car. And coming from a guy that, that is speaking truth to me, I wasn't prepared for the truth. And I felt like I'd been kicked in the nads a little bit, but I put my big boy <laughs> pants on and I'm like, he's right. And so that journey kind of began, uh, and just in terms of thinking about, um, Venom F5. And then, uh, we, we partnered with Shell. Shell became an important partner of ours on the Venom GT program in 2014, as well as the, uh, the convertible run in 2016. And around about that time, I said, you know, we've had some really cool success and you guys just kind of joined us in testing their lubricants and fuels on the Venom GT. But I said, we have another car that I think it's going to be uh, several la- uh, levels above where we were able to go with, with Venom GT, so an F5. And so they, uh, they said, hey, look, we like what you're doing and we're willing to give you some budget and some resources and basically no strings attached. Like you go build a cool car and if you, you know, are able to tell your story about how you utilize our our, our fuels and lubricants and so be it. And that's kind of where, so in 2017, we were able to build a full scale design model, a one-to-one design model of the Venom F5 that we had unveiled at uh, the SEMA show in Las Vegas. And prior to that, I had a couple of clients that believed in the program and gave us orders, but I'm kind of like, like I love the car and I believe in the car and I'm confident we can build it and achieve what we believe we can build in terms of um, you know, one of the greatest, if not the greatest power to weight ratio of any car ever built, plus 300 mile per hour capability, which we're still working towards. So, but I didn't know if anybody else is going to love it. And I've, I've learned over time that like, okay, maybe I've got a pretty high batting percentage of what I think other people like, but I don't always know until I show them. And so when we unveiled the car, gosh, within 30 days, I think we had another five or six orders. And I'm like, okay, 